Uh, good evening. Today is uh, September 27th, uh, 26, September 26. And uh, I'm recording this video to help you to know how to do the uh, regression using Excel. How to do regression using Excel. Okay, so um, I'm not sure if you are able to see my screen really well. And uh, so here I have, okay, one set of data, okay. X, so that's uh, from one going up to 24. And the Y, that is uh, a number that varies, okay? Um, so if I use this two, this set of data, I am able to generate a graph like this, okay? You can see uh, the X axis is from um, up to 24. Okay, and the y value, the vertical axis is going up. Okay, uh, so you can see from two going up to 7.7. .7. So two here is 7.7. .7. Okay, so how did I find, how did I generate this chart? So you basically, you can just highlight these cells containing the set of the data. Okay, and then you can pick a, uh, insert, okay, insert. And then you can choose in this area, you can choose this option, scatter, okay? You can choose scatter, that's how you get this picture, okay? Uh, if you are, uh, I am using a Mac uh, computer and uh, depending on the type of uh, system, either you use Mac or use Windows, uh, all different uh, version of the uh, office, you may have different layout, but the whole point is you want to learn how to using your own version of office, Excel, how to uh, use the set of data given to generate this graph. The next step is I need to add, I need to add a regression line. So what I did is I select all these points and I click, uh, control uh, in mic. So maybe for Windows, you probably will click, right click. So then I can say, add trend line, add trend line. Okay, so you can see, I can pick the different options, linear, that's the goal I need to have. I need to have a linear trend line. At the same time, I want to see the equation so here, display equation on chart. Display equation on chart. So I'm gonna click this one, okay? So now you can see that uh, this equation is displayed. Y equals 0.2296X plus 2.3841, okay? So the intercept would be this 2.3841. And the slope is 0.2296, okay? So we know that, um, so basically this fixed component, this intercept is a fixed component. So that's a fixed cost, okay? Uh, $2.38. And for the variable component, every unit of X, the cost of Y will increase by almost 23 cents, okay? So this is the unit per unit is constant, right? The cost per unit is constant. The cost per unit is close to 0.23. So this is my variable component. This is my variable component. And this is my fixed component, okay? So hopefully that helps. And you can see that this dashed line, that would be the, that is the regression. That's the regressed line. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. So I'm going to stop this.